Hey, it's Ryan at Prisma here, and I quickly wanted to go over a change that was introduced at Prisma 2.18, and that is the way that you will introspect your databases. So up until now, you have used the command Prisma introspect to take the structure from your database and put it into a Prisma model. We're changing that now to Prisma DB pull. So to get a sense of that, let's take a look at this table that I've got. I've got this products table just empty right now. We've got a bit of structure, and we can get a sense of how this works if we come over here and we do npx prisma db pull. Doing so, we'll pull out that structure and put it in the model, just like introspect would in the past. And in fact, this is just a rename to introspect. Right now, introspect will still work. We can still use the introspect command. So let's just do a little test here. We can do varcar of 120. We'll just you know change up the structure here a little bit. Maybe varcar of 300 on this field. And we'll save that. And we can just run prisma. We'll do npx prisma introspect. And we will get the same functionality. So it's just a rename of introspect. The deal is that introspect will continue to work for the time being, but it will be removed in a future release. And the reason for this rename to Prisma DB pull is that it's kind of the other side of the coin of another feature we have, which is Prisma DB push. DB push was introduced a little while back as a way to take your model and put it into a database when you're developing, not really a full migrations kind of feature, but something that you can use as you're developing. So we're renaming this just to get some similarity around the nomenclature, but otherwise nothing much else changes. So just keep in mind that right now you can use introspect, but in a future release, you will have to do Prisma DB pull. Thanks for watching.